Cancer is basically a condition where you have good cells that have gone bad, okay, that have uncontrolled growth and the ability to spread outside of their normal confines into other organs. The most important thing is probably, you know, take a breath, get in, see an oncologist, get the information you need about your diagnosis, your stage, your prognosis and your treatment options. And, you know, you'd be surprised that, you know, diseases that we thought of as just dismal prognosis 10 years ago are nowadays uh, much better you know, options for patients. Really what we have to offer here is a very comprehensive uh, cancer program that involves not just medical oncologists like myself and radiation oncologists who deliver radiation therapy, but all the other important adjunctive you know, personnel, um, uh, oncology certified nurses. These are nurses who are specially trained in the administration of chemotherapy and really know the issues that oncology patients and their families are facing. And that's a vital uh, piece of the, uh, the the healthcare team, social workers who are, you know, very uh, aware of the issues, you know, psychological issues, social issues, emotional issues, financial issues that cancer patients are, are uh, facing. We have uh, dedicated uh, dietary consultants, nutritionists who are aware of those problems. Um, and we also offer support groups that help patients help patients. We actually sit down on a regular basis, a, a group of this group of physicians, radiologists, pathologists, uh, radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, pulmonologists, and cardiothoracic surgeons, and we will sit down and discuss these cases even after chemotherapy and after radiation therapy. I'm still going to be their doctor. I'm still going to be there to take care of them.